Hey everybody, I'm Adam Lambert and I'm here to take you through a little makeup tutorial for Halloween to be a vampire. <laughs> this is one of my go-to looks. I've been a vampire so many years. I always try to change it somehow. I always joke that I'm a glampire. I like to be, you know, a little bit made up, a little more contemporary, not too scary, more sexy. For all of you at home, um, I'm using the majority of products here are regular cosmetics that you would find you know, at your stores, uh, brands that you've heard of, with a couple little special things thrown in here and there. Ready to start, here we go. So I'm filling in my eyebrows first. Um, eyebrows are sort of the frames of the eyes and it really structures your face, so I like kind of making sure those are in shape first before I even start my eye makeup look. So now I am taking a taupe eyeshadow. Um, this eyeshadow palette's from Pat McGrath. In the eye area, I'm kind of trying to focus on creating like a basic soft shape. Um, I went up really high in the, in the inside of my eyes and up towards the eyebrow to kind of create more shadow. Now I'm taking a black paint. Uh, it's by a company called Depixum in black. And this stuff's really versatile. You can use it anywhere on your face, mix it with other, other colors of theirs. So I'm basically using this as like um, the shape of my eye, to kind of get the shape of my eye solid on my face. And the other cool thing about doing it this way is that it makes the black really deep, so you can get a lot of depth out of your eyeshadow this way. I'm gonna do sort of like a winged look today. I always say if you're gonna do like a winged look, don't just go straight out horizontal to the ground. You, you kinda wanna go up in an angle. Take your time, you know, play with it. That's the thing about makeup that's so fun is you don't, you're not, you know, a hurry on a Halloween night, you know, start early <laughs> for costume parties and enjoy the process, you know. So now I'm, I'm taking some concealer and putting it under my eye just to clean up the under eye area after all the shadow. After the cream eyeliner and highlight above under the brow bone, I use the darker taupe color in that palette and the black to kind of just help define the shape that I made and blend any harder edges from the cream. So now I am going to put in some white colored contacts. And <laughs> now I'm not somebody who wears contacts, so I'm really not an expert at this. And it tends to get a little messy. I, I thought about putting them in to start, but you know, I, I didn't. So now the eyes are in, which is nice and creepy and crazy. I'm reapplying my concealer because it wiped away as I was torturing my eyes. And now I'm taking a, like a purple eyeshadow and putting it in the center of the lid, allowing the black that I put on to kind of act as like the, the darkest part, like a crease almost. And now I'm taking a MAC product, it's like a duochrome purple loose metallic powder and adding a little bit of that in the center of what I just did. Now I'm taking a black soft liner. I love MAC Smolder because it's really easy to blend. Taking a round, small brush to smudge it all together. So now I'm gonna work on my face. 
just to like, I, I started with a normal foundation. This is Pat McGrath foundation. It's a slightly lighter shade than I usually use, but it's still a, looks like normal makeup. So if you wanna do something that's not too extreme, just go put on your regular foundation and then you can layer the highlight and shadow stuff over it. Put a little bit on my mouth so it looks pale, like a vampire. Now, if you wanna punch it up a little bit, I'm taking a stage makeup, Ben Nye stage makeup in a color called Dead Flesh, I think. <laughs> it's super pale, no pink to it. So it, it it's it's not white, but it's, you know, corpsey. So now I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty, it's like a, it's a stick and this is their contour color, it's called Amber. And I'm rolling really heavy with it. Usually if I'm using this in like regular makeup, you just use a little bit for your contour, but I'm really going for it. Now I'm taking a highlighter, which is Pat McGrath, and I start putting it on my highlight and I realize that because I, I have so much light makeup on my skin, it's really not really doing much. Now I'm gonna powder everything that I did with a big powder brush, and I'm using like a, a stage makeup powder that's like a white powder, so it's super light. And this will set all that contouring, all that cream. So now, after I powdered all that stuff I did with cream, I'm kind of going over it again with like powder colors. and. You know, you might ask like, why do you do both? You know, the minute you start like getting a little sweaty or whatever, all that stuff starts to like kind of blend together. So this just helps kind of keep it all locked in. Now I'm taking a smaller brush in an even darker color and just doing a little bit darker so it kind of graduates up. And everything that I'm using so far is all matte. There's no like shimmer or shine in any of it except for that purple eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna add highlight, which is the fun part. Because my concept for this vampire is that he's got like iridescent skin. So I lined my lip in like a nude and then I took a black liner and I did a teeny bit in the corners and blended that onto, into the lip. So it's a real contoured lip. Mascara. We love mascara. Loading them up, getting them ready for eyelashes. I like to do eye, uh, mascara before the eyelash so the eyelash has something to kind of like rest on. A little more contour, you know, little finishing touches while the eyelash is dry. And then if you wanna be really experimental, if you wanna push it more, you can take a smaller strip of eyelashes and put them on the bottom. And it's not as easy, because you basically have to put the glue on and apply them sort of under your lower lashes and push them up. Mustache. <laughs> Obviously, if you don't have facial hair, you don't need to pay attention to this step. <laughs> and I'm pushing it and adding actually even a little mascara to the eyebrows and to the beard, which is tricky. You don't wanna to go too heavy. And then once you put it on, you wanna kind of like smooth out any clumps. Mascara on top of the eyelashes, just to make them look kind of clumpy and creepy. Yeah, and with all this layering, the, the good thing is this, this face will stay on for a night of partying. Oh, and now I'm taking, this is Stila. They have these like liquid glitter eyeshadows. Now fangs, of course. I didn't go through how to make the fangs. The fangs, um, you can find them at any Halloween store. You just have to like mold the stuff and then they stick right in. They're really easy to take on and off.
And last but not least, I want to punch the hair up a little bit. This is just like a metallic pomade and a bright green to kind of give me some crazy hair. And the cool thing with this look, if this is the Halloween look you want to go with, is that you don't really need to buy a costume. Just put together something that's maybe all black, uh, wear way too much jewelry, <laughs> um, maybe some leather, um, think about something with some shoulders to it. But like, you know, you, could, you can wear your fashion with this and not have to worry about buying costumes. And that's the look. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Um, I would love to see any of your attempts at this, your version of it. Don't copy me stroke for stroke. Do your own thing. Figure out your own version of it. Uh, hope this gave you some ideas. Happy Halloween this year. Drink blood responsibly. <laughs>